Sono Osato was a Japanese American ballerina from the Newberry neighborhood in Chicago. She spent some time in France a as a child and uh, started training, ballet training there. Her dad was Japanese, her mom was Irish American. They came to Chicago, I believe in 1925, and then she started training with Russian dance masters who were a very different style, she said. They were very strict as compared to the French. And then she joined the Ballet Russe at age 14 and toured around with them. She was not just a ballet dancer. She danced on Broadway in the original productions of On the Town and One Touch of Venus. From the 1940s particularly, uh, she was in uh, layouts in Harper's Bazaar and in Vogue magazine, modeling dresses and things. Um, there's a Hirschfeld cartoon of her from the cast of On the Town. So she was making quite a, a mark at, at, uh, at the time. And then uh, she uh, devoted herself to raising her family and uh, she just passed away uh, at the end of 2018. She was 99 years old. So it's pretty remarkable. I first encountered Sono Osato in the pages of a book at the Newberry called Chicago Japanese American Yearbook from 1947. Besides ads, the yearbook has short mentions of prominent community members, and one of those members was uh, Soji Osato, who is pictured in the book with his daughter, Sono. And uh, he is identified as a well-known photographer and uh, a pioneer, someone who came to Chicago prior to the war. I was able to learn much more about both of them through the material in the Newberry's and Barzell dance research collection, where there's clippings and photographs and uh, her memoir and many other things. Soji Osato and his wife operated the Japanese tea house in Jackson Park and continued that till the war comes, World War II and the U.S. government became suspicious of anybody of Japanese ancestry. President Roosevelt signed this executive order in February of 1942, and over 100,000 persons of Japanese American ancestry were forcibly removed from their homes and sent to illegal detention centers in the heartland of the U.S. Soji was caught up in this internment as well, and he was held in a former mansion on the south side with some German nationals. Sono and her mother Frances visited him. They had to sit at a table with an armed guard listening to his conversation. Uh, she was also impacted by the same racism and xenophobia. Uh, for instance, her ballet troupe was having a domestic tour of the United States, and, but she was barred from entering California because that was the exclusion zone and nobody of Japanese ancestry could be there. She was also, because of her heritage, with her mom being Irish and French Canadian and her dad being Japanese, she was often perceived as exotic looking. And so she was in roles um, things like uh, the ballet Union Pacific in the late 1930s. She played a Chinese bar boy passing out drinks. Um, she was in um, Sherahazad, which uh, she played the chief concubine, but she was not solely relegated to those types of roles. She was in a more modern ballet called Pillar of Fire. Um, where she was one of four couples being the lovers of experience. She, for instance, played Rosaline in the ballet Romeo and Juliet. And so being on these national stages on Broadway, uh, in One Touch of Venus, and on the town, uh, being in national publications like Harper's Bazaar and Vogue, uh, that made the Japanese-American community in Chicago very, very proud of her.